picking out the population sample parameters and statistics. Question 1 to 4, you are interested in knowing what percent of all households in a large city have a single woman as the head of the household. To estimate this percentage, you conduct a survey with 200 households and determine how many of these 200 are headed by a single woman. Question 1, in this example, what is the population? Question 1, all households in the city. A population is an entire group you are interested in studying. The goal here is to estimate what percent of all households in a large city has a single woman. As the head of the household, the population is all households and the variable is whether a single woman runs the household. For example, what is the sample? Answer would be the 200 households selected. That is, that is sample. The sample is a subset drawn from the entire population you are interested in studying. So, in this example, the subset is the 200 households selected out of all the households in the city. Question 3. In this example, what is the parameter? Answer. The percent of households headed by single women in the city. A parameter is some characteristic of the population because studying a population directly isn't usually possible. Parameters are usually estimated by using statistics numbers calculated from sample data. Question 4. In this example, what is the statistic? Answer. The percent of households headed by single women among the 200 selected households. A statistic is a number describing some characteristic that you calculate from your sample data, the statistic is used to estimate the parameters, the same characteristics in the population. Distinguishing quantitative and categorical variables. Question 5 and 6. Answer the problems about quantitative and categorical variables. Question number 5. Which of the following is an example of a quantitative variable also known as the numerical variables? A. The color of an automobile. B. A person's state of residence. C. A person's zip code. D. A person's height recorded in inches. E. Choices C and D. Question number 6. Which of the following is an example of a categorical variable also known as qualitative, qualitative variables? A. Years of schooling completed. B. College major. C. High school. Graduate or not. D. Annual income in dollars. E. Choices B and C. These answers of question 5 and, uh, 5 and 6 will be C in the next. In, in the next. Answer D. A person's height recorded in inches. Quantitative variables are measured and expressed numerically, have numeric meanings, and can be used in calculation. That is why another name of them is numerical variables. Although zip codes are written in numbers, the numbers are simply convenient labels and don't have numeric meanings. For example, we wouldn't add together zip two zip codes. Answer of question 6. Choices B and C. College major, high school, graduate or not. A, cat a categorical variable does not have numerical or quantitative meanings but simply describes the quality, quality or characteristics of something. College major such as English or mathematics and high school graduate, yes or no, both describe non-numerical qualities. The number used in categorical or qualitative data designate a quality rather than measurement or quantity. For example, you can assign the number 1 to a person who is married and the number 2 to a person who isn't married. The numbers themselves don't have meanings. That is, you don't, you wouldn't add the numbers together.